involving stopping distances. To stop a problem involving the stopping distance be caused by friction, start out by drawing a free body diagram of your object. Draw in your force of gravity, your force normal, and finally your force of friction. Okay, realize that it is the force of friction that is going to be doing the accelerating. That is the thing that's going to be stopping you. So when you have your formula force net over mass equals acceleration, put in for your force net the force of friction. Once you have your acceleration caused by friction, you then do it as you do all other motion problems where you make your list with your displacement, your initial speed, your final speed, which will be zero since you're stopping, the acceleration, which you just calculated, make sure you make it negative for slowing down. Then for your initial velocity, in this problem, they give it to you, it's 22.1. So you'll have your three variables, then you just wanna use your equations of motion to solve for delta x. If you're also asked for time, use another one of your equations to solve for time. So you could do VF equals VI plus AT. This will allow us to find the time. Then to get the distance, you have a bunch of options. You can use the delta X equals VIT plus one half AT squared. Or you can just use the fact that we have a constant acceleration so we can do average speed is equal to displacement over time. The average speed will be half of your initial velocity since your final velocity is zero.